Today, we are demonstrating the fundamentals of operating an Ubelode glass capillary viscometer. First, you will want to measure 15 milliliters of the test fluid using a graduated cylinder as shown. You will then pour the contents of the graduated cylinder into tube one of the viscometer. This is the largest tube of the viscometer and it is directly linked to the reservoir on the bottom of the viscometer. When pouring the fluid, keep in mind you should keep a slow, steady pace to avoid spilling the fluid outside of the viscometer or to upsetting any vacuums within the viscometer. You will want to pour the fluid into the viscometer until the fluid level is between the two markings on the lower reservoir. You want to refer to item 10 in figure 1 of the handout. As you can see, the markings are shown here. You will then use a syringe and surgical hose apparatus, as shown here, to create a slight vacuum within the viscometer to draw the fluid. You will connect the open end of the hose to tube 2 of the viscometer as seen in figure 1 as well as in the video. You want to ensure that the end of the tube has a vacuum tight seal on the viscometer so no vacuum can escape. You can see the fluid being drawn up the viscometer. Also, before a vacuum can be drawn, you must place your finger over the viscometer tube 3, also in figure 1. It may be helpful to have a lab partner secure the end of the surgical hose onto the viscometer. As you can see, it can easily fall off during the experiment. If this does happen, and your finger has not come off of tube 3, you can simply take the syringe and de depress the piston and re reattach the hose to the end of the viscometer, shown here, and continue. Once this has been done, you can disconnect the hose off the end of the viscometer and remove finger from tube 3. This equalizes the pressure within the viscometer as shown in the reservoir, and allows the fluid to flow through the bottom of the capillary. You want to start the time once the bottom of the meniscus of the test fluid crosses line M1, the upper line of the viscometer, as shown here. You want to measure the efflux time, the time at which it takes the fluid to fall from M1 to M2 of the viscometer. Here the video has been time lapsed towards the end of the procedure for the sake of brevity. The time it takes for the fluid to fall can range anywhere from three to six minutes depending on what test fluid you have. In this case the time is around five minutes. Again, you will want to stop the time once the bottom of the fluid meniscus has crossed line M2, shown here. So here we are stopping the time. and record the time in the data table. This has been a presentation of the Ubelode Viscometer.